dusty. I just woke up. Had a glorious sleep. Guys, I vacuumed my floor last night before I went to bed. I have this that's new in my room. I desperately needed more storage space and I'm gonna hang up this art. It doesn't like go together well at all. Kinda wanna hang that on my wall, but I don't know. That's also supposed to be in the living room. It's just here for the moment. It looks a bit not my vibes. I literally, in my room, this ugly curtains that they have, I just, it pains me. Like, my room's gorgeous. The ceilings are so tall and it's stunning and it could be so nice if they were just white. And, like, ugh, the ugly bed head that my room came with. Work in progress, really, but we, we're making do. I'm just, my goal is to really just try and keep this space super nice and clean. This is the rest of my room, by the way. Big ass, ugly heater. Thank the Lord I have decent storage space. My tacky little leopard print rug that I love and hate at the same time, can't seem to part ways with. I need something on this wall, because this wall bothers me because the people that before left these ugly marks there. I feel like it needs some color or something to just liven it up. I can't, I'm gonna show you guys once I like put the makeup on because I look so sleepy. I'm getting ready to go record the podcast, by the way. Also, so good. All my stuff is now in here. I still need to like arrange it, but I put, normally I just have like my makeup and toiletries and whatever sitting on the floor and it's so gross. But I have drawers now and I just feel so accomplished. We're in the kitchen, quickly having some coconut yogurt. I'm obsessed. Lou! My hair was so dirty. I just had to pull it off into these little buns. I'm not loving it, but. Here we are. Let me put you on something. My favorite peanut butter in the entire world. I don't know if you can only get this in the UK or where you can get it. We've got the big tub. Normally it comes in these little things. We got the big tub because it's so fucking good. I put on everything. I had one whole week off matcha last week and I'm going to do it again this week. And Mike... Or like, I'm just not going to have one every day. I might get one today when we're going to Soho to drop off the film. But yeah, I haven't had one for a week because it just makes, the caffeine makes my brain race when I'm already feeling anxious. So, I've pulled back. But I might get one today because we're dropping off film in Soho and my literal favourite matcha place is right near the film store. I'll show you guys. I've already put it in like a few times, vlogs, but... It's definitely not for a beginner, this place in Soho. It's like strong, strong matcha. And it definitely makes you ping off the walls. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning. I'm a star, so I'm gonna cover that eye. I'm with some a very famous person this morning. No paparazzi, please. <laughs> Are you excited for the pod? Um, I actually am. I'm so freaking excited. I'm so excited, excited to yap yap yap. Like we've got weeks of yapping in us. <laughs> actually, we're going to keep us asleep. Guys, I suck. I didn't vlog in the pod. We were just in such a rush. Didn't vlog the pod, but we did two eps. And I didn't vlog. We just dropped off our film at Bayou. And I'm not getting a matcha, but I'm going to show you the place that I go to. It's this cute little little place here. Omotasando, apparently. Let me show you what the sign looks like. It's just this little square situ. I don't know. What street are we on? What street are we on? We're on Newman Street. Yes, that's the name of it right there, Omotasando. Now I'm going to catch the train to the next meeting. Okay, I am home. I had my meeting and then I went for lunch with mum to Granger & Co. Granger & Co is literally my favourite cafe. I'm very full now. I had some salmon and rice and now I am going to jump in the shower, wash my hair. I'm going to put on a layer of fake tan because I just feel so pale and like sickly at the moment. And then I have to pack because I'm going to Oslo in Norway tomorrow for a little family vacation. Which would be really cute. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Literally fucking 6am and this man is having a feast. I don't know how you can stomach that, but lay on. We wow, she's tan. I put on fake tan last night. I look a bit, look a bit burnt to be honest. We're in the lounge. Oh, why do I literally look bright red and burnt? I can't recognize my face anymore because I have 
like my bangs are growing out and I just look really different. Or it's their, their long hair is getting way too long. I don't know. Their long hair needs to come out and I don't know if I should cut bangs back in or not. But anyways, we are at Heathrow. We're going on a family vacay. We haven't been on one in 12 years. Mum is stuck in security. We're horrible children and we have yeeted to the lounge. We're going to Oslo in Norway. Harrison booked an Airbnb as our Christmas present. The Airbnb looks divine. It's kind of like a glass house vibe. Kind of. Like cabin meets glass house in the woods kind of situation. It's gonna be a vibe out for two nights. As a family, bond, play board games and read, I don't know. Try I'm on, not to kill each other. You try not to kill each other. We'll try not make mum cry. <laughs> Which, she's a very sensitive woman and I always pick jokes. Harrison picks the joke in my ear and then I'm the one that vocally <laughs> says it. And so I get in trouble for it because I have a big mouth. But... Easy target. She's just an easy target. Yeah, but we love you, mum. Anyways, it's fucking 6am. 50 minutes early. Sorry, we got here two hours early for our flight because Harrison wanted to eat breakfast. No, mum wanted to be early. She said it was you. She said, well, Harrison and I have decided. I wasn't. She decided and I was like, I'm just going with the flow. Harrison goes with the flow. I'm the one that's like, no. But breakfast. You in Oslo, which I literally was in Norway less than a week ago. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. I flew into Norway oh. and then drove to Sweden. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Good morning, Dill. Speak of the devil. Did you have some food coming? No, not yet. It's too late. Come and say hello. Oh, you're chatting. Yeah. Good morning. So much for fast track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, the security in Heathrow always takes so long. Anyways, bye guys. Did you have liquids? We've made it to Oslo. We are gonna go find some food around here. Family day one. I still haven't killed a circus yet. <laughs> I'm almost bloody killed mum trying to park the car. <laughs> we just drove around and around and around trying to park somewhere. And see, I'm I'm the rebel of the family. Like, I will just park somewhere and potentially get a fine. But most of the time you don't. You just risk it for the biscuit. Mum's like, you need to find somewhere that we're not going to get fined. But she's the good girl. You were being really goody two shoes as well. Huh? I was just saying, I'll just park anywhere and eat, you know? Like Freezing! Okay, we have arrived in our little Airbnb. This is Mum and I's room. There's a little kitchenette, bathroom in there. Cabinet, table. This is the bed. It is so gorgeous and Harrison's little cabin is out there. The only thing is... I swear to God, Airbnb always does this. They make places seem so big. And then you get here and it's like miniature. We thought there'd be like a living room and like place we could all hang out. We're like in two separate, two separate cabin rooms, just like sitting on our beds. <clears throat> Literally like spaced in between two separate cabin rooms. Like we thought there'd be like a middle living room area, but that's fine. We're just going to zen out on the bed. We, uh, we have a dinner booking tonight at 6 p.m. I think. We love a grandma time dinner. Have an early night, sleep well. Oh, mum's going on a journey somewhere outside, down to the lake, I think. It's so gorgeous here. It's like right on this massive lake that's literally frozen over and there's hills and it's so, so pretty. I don't even really know what to do with myself. Lucky I brought my book. I'm just gonna lay and read and I guess relax. Something I don't often do very much. So that's the plan. Mum and I are tucked up in our little <laughs> cocoon room. We're about to watch some Love Island and just zone out. The longest 20 minutes of my life I've had so far. Didn't think I would go down this way. Good morning. Good morning, doll. Good morning. 
It's actually not morning anymore. What time even is it? It's 1pm. Is it 1pm? Yes. Oh my god, it's 1 o'clock. Well, I've just gotten up. I'm going to do some skincare. I'm going to go do my skincare outside. I actually have to film a little brand video for Drunk Elephant. But I thought I'd just show you on the vlog anyways because I genuinely love these products so much. But I'm going to do it outside in the snow. Just because like it's so pretty outside. We've been inside all morning and it's not as cold today. So I thought, let's do some skincare outside. So come with me. I'm going to do it. Welcome to the outside world. I literally just ate shit walking out here and I slipped over. Right here on the ice, my butt is so sore. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys a little morning skincare. This is not sponsored. I'm just showing you some products I really love. I'm going to be making a skincare smoothie. This is what I learned on my trip in Paris with Drunk Elephant, which if you guys saw the vlog, I was there. You get the moisturizer. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I love how it just pumps out into the top like that. Pretty much the skincare smoothie is mixing your products to kind of make it like all in one. And then the B Hydra Intensive Hydra Hydration Serum. You put a squirt in there. And then this, Ashton is obsessed with this and I've just started really getting into using this and it's amazing. The C Firma Fresh Day Serum. Oh, it's like a vitamin C and I put a pump in there too. You just get it, you mix it all, and then you have like an all-in-one little skincare sitcho. And I love how this little cut, like this top of this moisturizer thing, it's like a little pan. You just pop it all on. It's so good. This makes my skin so hydrated and just so plump and makes it look so fresh. My skin has been dull lately. It doesn't look as dull right now because I put fake tan on because I desperately needed it. But my skin has been so dull lately so I'm really trying to prioritize my skincare more than I have been in the past. Guys, the time has come. We have to abruptly check out. We're wheeling our bags back up this path. I'm out of breath. We've just come up the big hill. And there's another big hill incoming. Harrison has brought us to a... What is it? Traditional, traditional Norwegian restaurant. It's pro it's probably not. <laughs> it's not really traditional. It's like the food they eat. Yeah. It's it's what is it? Norwegian Meatballs. food. Meatballs. Yeah. This plate looks so ugly and disgusting. A little bit but it's delicious. Potato, meatballs, peas, and gravy and jam. jam. It's definitely not a bit of me, but I. It's not it's bad. Like an, getting cultured. Because that's how we roll. <laughs> Into a trendy little area to have a little shoppy, a little looky around. Um, I'm on the hunt for a cinnamon roll. Roll, because I think that's like the thing here. And I've been holding out for the last day to get one. So I'm going to have a little shop and find me a cinnamon roll. Okay, guys, this was the spot. That was rated the best. Here's Harrison waiting for us while we did our shopping. I just got some stuff from And Other Stories. So did mum. Let's go get a little cine bun. Oh my god, they do look good. Oh, they look amazing. Holy mama. <gasps> Holy mama. Oh, 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 oh. I'm excited. Oh yeah. god, they look good. Got a few bites. It's fucking delicious, but in my opinion, it's drenched in a little bit too much butter. It's like wet from butter. How's us? The gluten free queens just consistently <laughs> consuming gluten for tomorrow. <laughs> Today is a really scary day to be me. I'm facing my biggest fears today. And I know this sounds dramatic, but this is literally, if you followed me for years, you will know that this is gonna be one of, this is tough for me to do. I'm getting a bulb cut today. I'm getting a bulb cut. I'm cutting all my hair off. I got my hair extensions removed and I have no hair left. My hair is completely fucked to say the least. 
The extensions have ripped out so much of my natural hair. It's so thin. The ends are destroyed. Like my dead ends are just beyond. It's destroyed up until here. I would pull it out, but I'm about to run to the hairdresser. I'll show but it's just beyond the point of being able to be fixed. So I literally have to cut all my hair off so I can start fresh and get my hair growing and healthy again. But I would never volunteer to do this. I wanted to, I want long hair. I love long hair. I think long hair suits me really well. I can't, I feel like I'm gonna look like Dora the Explorer with a little short bob cut, but it just has to happen. So I'm gonna talk more about why you should not get hair extensions later. I'm gonna talk about why I'm an idiot. Why well, I should have learned my lesson from the first few years I had hair extensions in. And we're gonna we're gonna go through a hair healing journey all together, all again, even though we've been on it for years. I have just gone and fucked everything. But anyways, it, this could look amazing. Could look great. I can't even imagine it. I just don't want to look like a grandma or like a young girl. Just hopefully it looks sexy. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, let's get moving to, to the salon. <laughs> Um, you ready? Yeah. As, as part of this program. You're right. I'm happy I can't see. Oh, right. And the idea is to try and introduce it back into the world. Yeah, we're really into it. You're not far away. The actual product is amazing. Just pull it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop it up to <laughs> Good morning guys. Can't believe my hair. I forgot to keep filming yesterday. I don't even I don't even remember what was going on. There was just a lot going on. I'll show you guys the hair properly. It's like flicking out a lot right now and it's I look funny and I don't know, I'm like suffocating in this jacket. But we're about to run to go do the podcast. Um mum's here, just stealing our washing machine. Domestic duties are calling. Um but yeah, racing into King's Cross to a Universal to do our podcast. And then I'll, I'll just chat to you on the way. Ready to rumba? Yeah. Here we are. Back with Bestie. Hi, Bestie. Oh. <laughs> Bestie hates me. <laughs> You've actually been so much more positive to me recently. <laughs> you ever negative. But I did say the other day on WhatsApp, like, fucking hell. Like, Someone's in a good mood. Someone's yeah. got some duke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, you know what? Someone's just been free of alcohol and been working properly and has more of a routine and schedule in place. And now I look like Dora, so. Yeah. No, I wasn't. I passed. Okay, so I just washed my hair for the first time. I'm very, very intrigued to see how it dries. I just want to. I don't know. I don't know what texture my natural hair will go with it this short, but I'm just praying it dries well. Also, I had acupuncture earlier and I have a dint on my forehead from the bed that I was laying on. <gasps> I am very quickly, oh, there's never anywhere to set up my camera. I'm very quickly getting ready to go and get my nails done. I've had these blue ones on ages and they are just getting so ready and and then um the girls are coming over we're going to the footy tonight um watching chelsea versus fulham i think which will be very fun but i hope my nails doesn't take 50 million years you know how just sometimes they just go it's it's very slow and this nail salon I go to is always so busy. So they book you in for a time, but then you don't end up actually like, they're like juggling between like seven different people at once. And you're just kind of, they're like, can I, can you please just do my nails now? So I'm praying they're running on time. So we're not late for the game because we have to go meet the boys there and get the tickets and then go watch the game. So that's then that after the game, we're going to one of my other friends is hosting an event at Soho House with DJs and all that. I'm still not drinking yet. I might drink this weekend because I'm going to Soho Farmhouse, but we'll see. I kind of want to have just like a cheeky wine tonight, but I think if I'm going to drink, I'm just going to save it for at, at Farmhouse. Like, that just seems like, you know, a smarter idea. I was wondering what my face was missing. I've got no blush on. 
I've got no blush. I am blush queen. Cannot, cannot go anywhere without. <laughs> it's a lot of blush on my face. Maybe I, I don't know. I just love it. I don't know why I love it so much. Like it just gives me so much life. Okay, I'm gonna keep getting ready and then I'll chat to you guys later. for one fucking night. Pathetic. <laughs> She's going so pink. We just came up to get the key to the cabin. The boys are elsewhere. We're having some girly we're, time. We're a bit drunk. We, we're a bit drunk. We're, look at us. We're a bit drunk. Shall we bring you guys? Do you want to film the opening of the room? Wow, it's literally getting more and more pink. Let's see it together for the first time. Wow. It's getting more pink. Wait, wow. Where's my phone? Wait, let's get a film pick again. Not Holy moly. <gasps> wow. Wow. <laughs> This is how I get the Insta fix. Wow. Oh, I was going to say, let's get a film peek with the sunset right now. Okay. Come along with us to take film. One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three. Flame. Cute. Okay. Come on the room, Tua. Let's go. Oh. Two levels in here. <gasps> okay. MTV, welcome to the crib. Welcome Dude, to the so motherfucking crib. The other cabin I stayed in. <gasps> oh, wow. Upstairs. Kitchen. Kitchen. It's huge. Wait, maybe it could have fit more people because there's this double room. A little desk. The bath. We love the bath. <gasps> Wait. Little balcony. Oh, the bunk beds, maybe. Oh, the bunk beds are here. Oh. What the fuck is upstairs? They really are bunk beds. <laughs> is there some chucky? Come, come. Wait, dude, there's like, how is there more bedrooms up here? Is there? Is there? <gasps> dude, what? <gasps> this must be the master up here. Oh, the master's downstairs because it has the bathroom included. because no, this is this. Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, this must be like the, lo master. the master loft. They said that this place is for four people, though. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna fr we're literally gonna freeze to death by the way you feel no, no. okay now no it's not okay once we get to the bikes freezing let's go we're gonna go for a swim in the pool i love this part when we all ride bikes i love this part <laughs> and some brekkie and come back here and eat it. I'll show you guys the room. It's a little bit messy, but kitchen, lounge, bedroom, balcony area. It's very cute. Ready to rumble, Lou? Sure. We've picked up the goods. We've got brekkie in the basket. Beep, beep, the yeah, he is. Ash and I are really on one today. Two big desserts. <laughs> 
sticky toffee pudding, oh, apple crumble. No. Oh, is it good? No. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> We're still at Farmy, just living our best in a little shed. Having a great time, having a great day. I just had a hydrofacial done. My skin is really red. Lucky I've got this beanie to cover it. It's so red under here. I look like a little bean. Asho's just finishing hers now. Guys, I fucking love Hydrafacial. They are the best facials. They literally do wonders for my skin. I used to get them in Oz. I've just been getting scarring and like random little hormonal pimples along here, I think, but it just smooths your skin out. So, oh my god, my skin literally feels like a baby's butt. Having just. Oh my god, I can't get over how much of a little bean I look like. Anyways, we've just done our facial. We've got a guest coming on the potty today. Do you guys remember how I vlogged Ashton's Raya Day? We, well, he found out that it was, I was, it was kind of a setup and that I was like podcasting how it was going. We've got him coming on the pod today. So it's just going to be such a good episode. I'm so excited for it to spill the tea. So you guys will find out who the Raya Day was. The episode's probably out, so I'll link it below. I'm so excited to film it, to record it. But we have to literally run to the studio, to Universal now, quickly chuck on some makeup over this, and then get recording. And it's so nice and sunny in London today, I'm so happy. We've made it to the studio, we're doing something criminal, putting makeup on straight after a facial. Ugh, skin feels great though. I know. It, just, it went on quite well. Anyways, this is Universal Music, guys, by the way. This is the HQ where we record. Just waiting for James and Creed, our guests for the day. Yes, which was, um, you guys don't remember, who was my friend. I told them. I told them. Very exciting episode. And I just like, the tea's about to be spilled. We don't even know what's about to unfold. It's going to be a good one. I know. Hello, doll. Good day. How was that? How'd you oh. go? Heart was pumped. What was? What were you more nervous for, the date or the podcast? The date or to see Ashton again. <laughs> see Ashton all the time. Ah, oh, nice. Sneaky Link. Who said that? Sneaky Link. Hello, darling. 